What's up gamers, it's your boy Dazer HI back with another video and in Chapter 5 Season 4 a significant number of items were vaulted to make room for new and returning loot. Some of the key items that have been vaulted include the minigun, the combat shotgun, the combat assault rifle, thunderburst SMG, tribeam laser rifle, heavy impact sniper rifle, magneto powers, combat shotgun, oscar auto frenzy shotgun, boom vault, shield breakers, Crash Pad Jr., Toho Cannon, War Forge Assault Rifle. These changes were likely made to balance the game, especially considering the new Marvel themed weapons and items being introduced this season. Several new items were introduced along with some old favorites being unvaulted. Here's a breakdown of the new additions. So for the new weapons, we have number one, the dual micro SMG. These are small SMG guns for each hand offering rapid fire but reduced accuracy from my opinion. This weapon melts and is great close range but very useless mid to far range. We have the Monarch Pistol, a highly accurate handgun held in one hand and I would compare it to the hand cannon just not as powerful. We have the Sovereign Shotgun, a lever action shotgun that does high damage output when you ADS but as you hit fire, the damage goes down, but the fire rate of the weapon is still good and faster. We have the War Machine Arsenal, which includes an auto turret and hover jets, allowing for aerial combat. Dr. Doom's Arcane Gauntlet, with added functionality of fire and repulsor beam. We have Captain America's Shield, allowing for a charge attack and blocking while moving, and the iconic Boomerang Shield Throw. We have the Striker Burst, Rifle, Combat Assault Rifle, Hyper SMG, Shockwave Grenades, Armored Walls, Chug Splash, and we have, we also got three new point of interest, the first one being Castle of Doom. The Castle of Doom is the heart of this season's map change. Castle of Doom is the primary base for Doctor Doom's echoing the villain lair from Marvel's comics. It features a dark foreboding fortress with high towers surrounded by dangerous traps and powerful NPCs. Players can find unique loot and the opportunity to challenge Doctor Doom himself for his mythic items. We have the raft near the coastline. The Raft is a highly secured prison island similar to the comic book's counterpart where dangerous supervillains are held. This POI includes several guarded areas and players can encounter hero themed NPCs and items. The Raft offers strategic advantages due to its location and the availability of high tier loot. We have the Avengers Tower in the central map area. The iconic Avengers Tower makes it Fortnite's debut featuring high tech facilities and a sleek design. Players can explore different levels and each containing advanced loot and easter eggs related to the Avengers. The tower also serves as a potential battleground for intense player skirmishes. These new POIs is not only to provide fresh gameplay experiences but also to immerse players deeper into the Marvel Universe. We have new medallions. The Siphon Medallion found at Castle Doom. This medallion grants shield regeneration every time you eliminate an opponent. We have the Stealth Medallion located in Doomstead. After defeating Mysterio, it grants temporary invisibility when you crouch. Perfect for sneaking up on enemies. We have the Reveal Medallion found at the Raft Prison by defeating Emma Frost. This medallion reveals the location of nearby enemies giving you a strategic advantage. Keep in mind, stacking effects do work. The effects of the medallions can stack, making you increasingly powerful as you collect more, but also more vulnerable to attack due to enhanced ability. I would like to note that so far I'm having a blast with this new season, which is more superhero oriented and less vehicle heavy like the last season. So far I'm having so much fun. Let me know in the comments below how you like this season. So far, I'll catch you guys later in the next one. Peace.